Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, guys, we are still going through the grade 12 mathematical literacy paper one that was written in June 2022. And in this video tutorial, guys, we are going to be tackling question 3.1. And question 3.1 is under the topic of data handling, right? So we are going to be using the knowledge that we have learned from data handling to basically answer the questions that are given to us, right? We're going to be using the mean formula and we're going to be manipulating that formula to calculate a missing value, right? So before we get started with today's video tutorial, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you have clicked on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video tutorial, guys. And also, don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks right so like i mentioned guys in today's video tutorial we're going to be tackling question 3.1 and like i said question 3.1 is um, under the topic of data handling right so we're going to be using the knowledge that we have learned right from data handling to help us interpret this table that is uh, given to us here right so let's have a look. Table two below shows the estimated provincial half yearly livestock numbers in thousands for the nine provinces in South Africa for August 2020 and February 2021. Okay, so this table two, right, is an estimated provincial livestock numbers in thousands, right, um, in South Africa for August 2020 and February 2021. Okay, so how do we basically analyze this table, right? So we can see in the first column, we've got the different provinces. We've got the nine provinces. We've got Western Cape, Northern Cape, Free State, Eastern Cape, KwaZulu-Natal, Bumalanga, Limpopo, Gauteng, and the Northwest, right? Then we have here columns that represent the estimated livestock numbers in thousands, right? For the cattle, the sheep and the goats for August 2020 and February 2021, right? So let's just have a look at the first row here. How would we interpret this row? So the estimated livestock numbers in thousands for the Western Cape in August 2020 was 466,000, right? So how many zeros will we add? One, two, three zeros, okay, right? The estimated cattle for February 2021 uh, was 466,000, right? The estimated sheep for August 2020 was 2545, right? And we know that it's in thousands. So we know that from that 2545, we still need to add one, two, three zeros, right? So it's 2,545,000, right? Then... For February, the estimated number of sheep for the Western Cape was 2 million, right? 497,000, right? So you're going to say 2497, and we need to add three zeros because we are told that it's in thousands, right? And then the goats for Western Cape, the estimated number of goats for the Western Cape was 202,000. So it's going to be 202,000. So it's 202,000, you're going to add three zeros. And the estimated goals for the Western Cape for February 2021 was 199,000, right? So 199,000, you add three zeros, right? So that is basically how we are going to interpret um, that, right? Okay, and then let's have a look at our columns, right? For August 2020, we're going to focus on August 2020, okay? How do they get that total there, right? So they basically added all the estimated cattle um, numbers, right, 
to get that 12,299. We need to know that, guys, it's in thousands. So we basically need to add those two zeros there if we do calculations, right? When Or when we are doing our calculations, right? So they basically took the 466 plus 419 plus 2054 plus 3050 plus 2380 plus 1248 plus 860 plus 246 plus 1576. And when you add up all those numbers, you'll get what the total um, estimated cattle were for all the provinces and that was 12 million 299 000. why am i saying it's 12 million 299 000? because you know if it's one two two nine nine we still need to add those three zeros because it's in thousands right and when you read out that number it's 12 million 299,000. So that is the total um, estimated uh, number of cattle for all the provinces for August 2020, right? So that is how we are going to analyze this table, okay? So let's get started. Question 3.1.1. Write down the province with the second highest number of sheep for february 2021 right so here guys which column are we going to be focusing on okay i'm going to be focusing on the column that has information for the sheep for february 2021 so we're going to be focusing on obviously this column that gives us the information on the estimated um number of sheep for all the provinces right um for February 2021, right? So we need to write down the province with the second highest number of sheep, right? So we can see that this data is not in order. It's not in ascending order and it's not in descending order, right? So when I say it's in a when I say it's not in ascending order, this data is not written from the smallest number to the biggest number. And when I say that it's not in descending order, this data is not written from the biggest number to the smallest number, right? Please take note the methods that i basically i give to you guys here are methods that make it simple for you to see what's going on right it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to write everything down but i write everything down so that i make sure that everyone that's watching my video tutorial is able to follow with what i'm doing right okay so from this data that we have here right okay what are the two highest um, values that we see for February uh, 2021, right? So I'm going to highlight the two values that I can see um, are the highest, okay? So we can see that the highest value here in this column is 6,394, okay? So that's the highest value. What would be then the second highest value, right? So the second highest value, right, it's definitely not 4362, but it's 5,079, right? So from here, when they say that write down the province with the second highest number of sheep for February, we can see that the province with the second highest number of sheep for February is the Northern Cape. Next question, 3.1.2. Calculate Eastern Cape's estimated total number of livestock for august 2020 so here guys we are going to be focusing on eastern cape okay and we are going to be focusing on right total um number of livestock is the cattle the sheep and the goats right for which month august 2020 so we're gonna be adding the estimated number of cattle for august 2020 plus we are going to be adding the estimated number of sheep for august 2020 and we are also going to be adding the estimated number of goats for august 2020 for which province for the eastern cape right so the total livestock for the eastern cape province 
for August 2020, right? Right. We saw that the cattle for August 2020 was 3050,000, right? So it's going to be 3050,000. We need to add those three zeros. Plus, the sheep is 6513,000. So we need to add the 6513,000. Add the three zeros. Plus, the goats for August 2020 is 1991,000. So it's 1991,000, right? So if you basically punch all those values into your calculator, livestock for the Eastern Cape province for August 2020. All right, let us go into the next question. Question 3.1.3. The provincial mean number of sheep is 2,400,444. Okay. A farmer in Limpopo stated that the missing value A in the table is less than 200, right? So we know that this missing value, they're saying that it's less than 200. So when they're saying it's less than 200, we know that it's less than 200,000. Verify showing all calculations whether the farmer's statement is valid. Okay. So before we even get started, what are the columns or which column are we going to be focusing on? We're going to be focusing on the column um, that obviously deals with the estimated number of stock for the sheep. Why? Because the missing value A is on that column there, right? And the reason why I'm also saying that we're going to be focusing on um, this whole column here, right, is because we are told about the provincial mean number of sheep, right? So we need to obviously look at the estimated number of sheep for all the provinces, right? And by looking at the estimated um, number of sheep for all the provinces, that will help us to basically um, find out what that missing value A is, right? So let's get started. So this farmer is saying that the missing value A in the table is less than 200,000. So we need to verify showing all calculations whether his statement is valid, right? So what is the population? I mean, so what is the information that is given to us here that can help us to actually solve this question? We are told that the mean number of sheep or the provincial mean number of sheep is equal to 2,400,444. So we can already see here that we need to basically use the knowledge that we have on how you calculate the mean to help us solve for our missing value A, right? So what do we know? How do we calculate the mean, guys? The mean is equal to, right? We know that mean, guys, another word for mean is what? It's the average, okay? How is your mean calculated, right? Your mean is calculated by summing up, right, all your values. So in this case, we need to sum up all the estimated um, numbers for your sheep, right? We need to sum all of those up, right? And you need to divide it by the total provinces to get what the mean is, right? So how do we get the sum of the total sheep for August 2020, uh, 20, right? We are just simply going to take the 2545,000 plus 5182,000 plus 4330,000 plus 6513,000 plus 628,000 plus 1527,000 plus A, right? Plus 84,000 plus 596,000, right? So I'm going to put those there, right? So you add up all. Um, the estimated number of sheep, right? And you divide that by the total number of provinces, right? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 provinces divided by the total number of provinces, right? It's also important to note that the mean, right? The provincial mean is given for the number of sheep, right? And it's 2, 4, 0044 uh, 
Okay, so we're going to write that down. We're going to substitute that into our equation, right? And then from here, guys, it becomes pretty simple, right? The first step or the first thing that we're going to do, guys, is we're going to sum up all these values, right? So we're going to sum up all these values. And when we sum up all these values, okay, you're going to have an amount plus A divided by 9, right? And then from there, guys, you will start to see that all we basically need to do is basically solve for A by isolating it, okay? So let's now start off by now calculating what is the sum of these uh, numerical values, okay? So please follow with me here, right? We want to solve for the A there, right? So what do we need to do? You need to take that 2, 4, 0, 0, 4, 4, 4. And you need to what? Multiply by 9, okay? If you multiply by 9 over 1, right? You cancel out the 9 that side. What you do on the right-hand side, you need to do on the left-hand side. So you need to also multiply it by 9, right? And you'll be left with 2, 1, 4, 0, 5. 1, 2, 3, plus A, right? Okay, so if you multiply 2, 4, 0, 0, uh, 4, 4, 4, multiply by 9, um, you're going to get 2, 1, 6, or oh, 3, 9, 9, 6 is equal to 21, 4, or oh, 5, 3 zeros plus A, right? And then what do we need to do, right? Obviously, you move this 21,405,000 to the left-hand side, right, to solve for the A, okay? And what we can see here now is that our A has been isolated, right? So if you punch that into your calculator, guys, you'll find that, right, this missing value A is 1989996, okay? So this missing value here, right? is 198996 right so from our calculations we saw that actually the farmer's statement was valid because right that missing value a right when we calculated it amounted to 198996 right therefore his statement was correct Okay, guys, so that is the end of today's video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was super informative. Please make sure that you have clicked on that like button, guys. And also that special thanks if you really appreciate um, the content. And that is it. I'll um, stop this here. And in the next video tutorial, guys, we are going to be tackling question 3.2 that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload at distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.